Hola! How are you guys today? I hope you're fine. I am super happy because today's video I'm going to show you how to do a um, really colorful makeup look and I'm really excited because I want to do a cut crease but inverse colors and I hope it will turn out good because I really want to do this for a long time so yeah if you want to see how this will turn out you just need to keep on watching so yeah let's get started So I'm going to start off with this with this fluffy with this tiny fluffy brush. This is from Primark, but it's actually really really good. And the color that I'm going to use is this really bright red from NYX. And this is the color 18 and it's called Cream, crimson, crimson, crimson. I think it's crimson. I don't know. But yeah, this is um, color from NYX, and it is really, really pigmented. And I'm going to place this really bright red on the outer corner of my eye just like this and I'm going to blend it but I'm not going to blend a lot now I'm just going to place the eyeshadows and then I am going to saturate more and more uh, each eyeshadow <laughs> Now I'm going to use a really bright orange and this is from Morphe and it's the palette 35O and this color is called Extra. It's this really beautiful and again I am placing the eyeshadow, I'm not blending a lot right now. I'm just focusing on getting the eyeshadow on the place. I'm going to move on to the yellow and the color that I'm going to use as a yellow it's from Kiko Milano and it's the number 19 and it's called... it doesn't have a name, just has the number. I'm going with a different brush, this is Zynier this is tinier but I'm just using this one because my other brush is already used and has a darker shade. So I'm using uh, the L'Oreal Paris brush. This comes with a palette so it doesn't have any name or number. Now I'm going to use a blue shade from and a note palette. I really like the shades of this palette. I'm not going to show you because it is disgusting. I can show you the the colors, but I'm not showing the rest because this part is really bad. It has um, lipstick, contour, powder, blush and some brushes but they are really really cheap, cheap. so yeah <laughs> but this but all of these colors in here are really really good it has some metallics some shimmers some mattes and i'm not kidding when i'm saying that they are really pigmented so yeah look can you can you can you relate this like it has so much pigment pigment and I just place it once and I can 
can get all of this pigment it's a lot it's really 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 good and the palette that I'm going to use for the purple is from the KVD Beauty um, when I bought this I think it was from Kat Von D but they are not from Kat Von D anymore it's KVD Beauty uh, the brand so yeah this is the fetish fetish palette I think this palette it's not for sale anymore I think it was uh, a limited edition so yeah and the name of the color is ink is this really bright purple I'm going to use this one yeah and I'm going to use the same brush This palette has a lot of fallout, but I can work with that, even though it's not the best to work with. I'm going to use this tiny brush, this precision blending brush from, from Morphe again. And I'm just going to repeat the steps, but with this tiny brush. Okay guys, I have something to say. As you can see, my purple here is fading and doesn't want to stay on my eye for some reason. And I know the reason. It is because purples are usually really difficult to do. Really, really, really difficult to do. And usually some purples don't blend really well or the pigmentation at first looks really bomb and then just disappears um, basically it's that it's a really difficult color to do so it is normal for purples just to fade especially um, matte especially matte purples it's really normal for them to just fade or the So what I am going to do is grab some purple with a flat brush and pack that pigment on my outer corner. Oh, and before I said in here outer corner, but this is the inner corner. So yeah, sorry about that. Okay, we have the, the higher part done and now it is time to cut the crease. I'm going to start right here and ju I'm just going to follow my eyeball and end in the tail.
okay it was a really long journey but we have our crease cut it finally I'm going to start with the purple now and end with the red and be careful because I want to and I think I'm going to leave a line between them I don't know but I probably will do it I didn't put any powder uh, after my after cutting cutting the crease because I want the pigment to stay on the eye Now we have this whole mess in my eye and what I'm going to, and what I want to do is blend every edge of these colors together so they will be even and beautiful because the pigment is here and the, f the order is there and what I need to do now is just blend everything. We are almost done. I'm going to do a fine line between my crease, my cut crease. What I'm going to do is clean again with some concealer and with this tiny brush again. I'm going to I'm going to line. I'm going to do a line. Now I'm, I'm placing the white. Now I'm going to blend the white and the the, the white and the black together and following with the black. I'm going to put the white shadow in my inner corner and as you can see it is a really bright, bright white so I want to blend it now in the lower lash line I'm going to follow with the red Okay guys, this is the eye look. I'm really happy with the result that I have made. I'm going to do this eye and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back with my lashes and this eye done. I don't know if you can see because it's a little bit far but I hope you can see it and 
perfect. Now I'm going to move on and do the lips. I'm going to wear a nude lip and this is the water liquid li liquid the water liquid lipstick from Kylie and this is Kylie Cosmetics and this is the color ginger. I'm going to line my lips with this brush. Last but not least, I'm going to put on top this color a gloss and this is from Primark 2. This is a really cute gloss. It has some pink undertone and the glitter. This has glitter. It's a really fine glitter. It's a really fine glitter and it looks like a silver silver blue toned glitter but I think it's not going to show up to show off a lot to show out a lot so yeah I'm going to just to put the gloss on top of this okay guys this is the finished look with the lips with the face and with the eyes done I'm going to zoom you in so you can see a closer look of this eye. Wait. Okay, I think I'm focused. I hope I am. <laughs> but yeah this is the end of the video i truly hope you like it and if you want more videos of me doing this really colorful eye looks you just need to comment down below give it a thumbs up it doesn't hurt and it doesn't take too long and yeah guys if you're new here hi my name is maria and I'm a simple Portuguese girl that loves doing makeup. <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet, why? You just need to click on the subscribe button and you are part of the family. <laughs> Have a nice day and I will see you next week.